Hi, and welcome to another video on the Casio CTX3000 keyboard. And in this short video, I'm just going to show you um, how to access the reverb, delay, and chorus effects on the keyboard. But first of all, have a listen to this stage piano voice. And I'm going to play a few notes higher up the keyboard and have a listen to how once the piano voice finishes, there's a kind of um, ambience effect after the sound. You can hear, um, I hope, after the sound finishes, how that gives it a kind of feeling of being within a room. On the keyboard itself, the little indicator light will show, show up here um, to show you that, it, uh, that the reverb setting is on. And these settings are, are all already sort of preset within the tones, uh, within each of the tones. Um, if I move to a different tone, for instance, this ambient piano tone, it has a, still has reverb, but it sounds very much different. It doesn't sound quite um, so reverberant. It doesn't sound as such a big space as on, say, that stage piano voice. So each keyboard, sorry, each tone on the keyboard um, has a different um, setting for reverb and chorus and delay. And you can edit those settings, um, but when you power down and restart the keyboard, uh, it'll go back to the presets, unless you've saved it within a user tone or perhaps within a registration bank. But just for the moment, I'm just show you how to access um, the reverb and maybe just to how to change it a little bit. So we'll go back to the standard piano voice at the beginning, the stage piano. Uh, we do a short press on the function button and then you can use either the left or right arrows until it says reverb. And there's reverb and this particular voice um, is using reverb number 11 which on the 3000 is hall 3. On the 3000 uh, you've got 25 reverb effects and on the 5000 you've got 33 reverb effects and to change them you just use the uh, wheel here or you could use the plus and minus buttons we tend to use the wheel it's much quicker and if i go to number zero one it's off so now have a listen to the sound And we've lost that effect of it being within a space. It sounds much drier. But we can just use the wheel and select a different one. And you can hear how each one is slightly different. Um, and they're different sort of size spaces um, from halls up to st large stadiums. Um, and then there are also um, these two here, which are called plate reverbs, which just refers to the type of uh, mechanical way in which they used to uh, create this effect um, in pre-digital studios. Uh, we've got a few um, reverbs with a delay built in you can, a delay is where the sound you can hear it being repeated like an echo um, but uh, we've got these built within to the, um, the a reverb as well and then finally on the 3000 we get to number 25 which is cathedral and then zero one back to off. Now to uh, apply the reverb, 
or to um, alter the amount of reverb. Let's just pick maybe one like this one. Uh, so this is large room two. To change the amount of reverb effect on this piano sound at the moment, uh, you hold down the mixer button and in mixer mode, uh, you can turn parts on and off. Uh, you can change the volume and pan, reverb send, chorus send, delay send, and then we're back to part. Make sure that on the display it says mixer keyboard. If it doesn't say that, then just do a short press on the part button and then use the plus and minus button until you get to where it says one to nine keyboard. Okay, we don't want to, we're not changing anything to do with songs or MIDI in. Uh, we're changing a setting to do with the keyboard tones. Uh, and then press that button again and the light goes out. So we're in mixer mode. And if I use the up and down arrows until we get to reverb send, at the moment, uh, this piano voice has um, 30 uh, amounts, if you like, of reverb send. In other words, we've got the, the dry piano sound without any reverb mixed in with about sort of 30, well, it's not 30% because it goes from 0 to 127, but about a quarter of reverb uh, sound as well mixed together. And we, if we use the uh, wheel, we can apply more reverb and the sound will start to kind of disappear um, into a bigger space. And we can keep going. Got a long way to go yet. And then eventually we can get to 127 and it will sound like this. So you're hearing a lot of reverb and very uh, little amounts really of the piano tone. It's kind of being swamped um, by the reverb. If we put this back to zero, so press the number button and then type three zeros. Effectively, the, the reverb is now being turned off for this piano voice. Uh, and while we're here, we can also do a similar thing with chorus and delay. Uh, but for the time being, I'll just leave this uh, video here and then I'll pick it up uh, in another video of actually how you can apply different amounts of effect um, to different tones at the same time.